I'm Doug Zipes at the European Society of Cardiology Scientific Sessions, and I'm here with Dr. Jean Brownwall, and uh, we're going to get to know uh, Jean a lot better than I suspect many of you know already. Jean, a pleasure to be able to sit down and chat with you. It is nice to be here, Doug, and especially with you. And congratulations on the biography yep. that was just published by Tom Lee, and uh, some wonderful uh, statements about the biography. Um, summarize where this occurs uh, in the sense that uh, you and I have sat at a sure. dinner some years ago in Austria mm -hmm. and perhaps that might be a good place to start? Sure. Well, um, the biography uh, uh, will tell you that I was born in Vienna and um, uh, had a, um, you'd have to say, an almost idyllic childhood. Um, we lived in a very good portion, part of Vienna, and uh, uh, my parents were very interested in music and opera, even though they had no training in it. Uh, so they started taking me to the opera when I was five. Oh. And, um, uh, and uh, I um, enjoyed school. And then uh, March 12th, 1938 was a sudden event when uh, the Nazis marched in the so-called Anschluss um, of Austria. And um, Hitler came and he spoke uh, um, at the uh, large square in Austria and life changed overnight. Mm -hmm. No more going to school because of uh, uh, the, uh, uh, they did not want Jewish children in school. Um, so what had taken the anti-Semitism that had uh, taken in Germany that took f sort of five years to develop between 33 and 38 was accomplished in five days in Austria. Yeah. And uh, we had a couple of close calls and, uh, um, and uh, uh, left under very difficult circumstances. We uh, ended up in England. But I, I remember you telling me something that your father said, we're going on a picnic. Uh, actually, uh, yes. So uh, uh, you, you have a good memory, <laughs> but it was my mother uh, on a Saturday morning uh, came into uh, uh, the bedroom, my only sibling, my brother and I occupied. She said, all right, boys, get dressed. We're going on a picnic. It seemed very strange mm -hmm. because basically we had been confined to the house. Mm -hmm. uh, it was so dangerous. Um, but um, even though when I asked about it, she said, shut up, get dressed. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so, it, you know, uh, over the c course of um, a few, uh, uh, about 48 hours, uh, it took to get out of uh, uh, Austria, and um, uh, and then end up in London, um, and of course uh, the expression of just with the, our sh shirts on our backs is absolutely accurate. Um, we came uh, from I would say an upper middle class to uh, abject poverty, mm -hmm. and we were uh, uh, we, we, uh, a relief agency care of us. And how long were you in England? Before we were in England uh, um, for um, 16 months. Then World War II be began, so chronologically we uh, left um, Vienna in, uh, at the end of July of 38. Um, and then um, uh, left England in November 1939. England was very nice and it saved our lives, but you couldn't stay there. Mm -hmm. So uh, at that time, the English said, uh, yeah, we don't want you to die, but if you stay here, um, you go to a camp, mm -hmm. not a concentration camp. But, but yeah. It, yeah. And the U.S. had a quota. The U.S. had point. a quota, that's right. It was not easy right. to get into the United States. Um, and uh, we, actually managed to get into the United States because my mother had an aunt whom she had never met. Mm. And uh, she uh, 
uh, sort of vouched, had to vouch for us. Mm -hmm. She ended up, this woman ended up, she and her husband, uh, who had very modest means, vouched for about 40 of the relatives of the uh, uh, enlarged family. And, um, and of course, uh, then when we got here, we were on our own. And uh, uh, so we uh, lived in New York from uh, 1939. And um, I went to school in New York. I went to um, uh, grammar school, high school, college.